Hello and welcome to this video. This is Maurice and I'm gonna share my experience today about a very very interesting skate. Um, I've come upon a skate that was very interesting because I really love having a skate that actually does not make any noise. Yeah, the quickest fix around that is just evading all bolts. And all of a sudden, there was a skate that actually had that certain feature. Uh, a skate in which sole plate, shell and frame were combined, basically one piece, which sort of is dumb as well, because once one of the three wears down you have to like get rid of all of it so i i at some point just was so interested that i got myself a pair of them and this very skate is the usd aeon uh, to be more exact in this case the 72 millimeter edition um, as i like to go fast and um, was kind of interested in seeing such a big setup I went straight away for the 72 millimeter version and I must say at first I was very disappointed of this skate. It was the stiffest thing I've ever seen. Uh, the, actual, the actual cuffs that came with the skate, they were just crap. They were so hard that they actually hurt my, my ankles whenever I, I try to bend into any trick and basically we do that all the time right so um, I, I thought to myself what would what we have I purchased a skate now what do I do with it so I after, after a lot of trying I, I gave up eventually on the skate so I, I just put it aside and now with the coronavirus situation I've done a lot of long distance skating so um, I was looking for a skate with bigger wheels. At first I started out doing regular aggressive tricks with the, with the uh, tri-skates that I have um, on all my trips. And um, yeah, all of a sudden I remembered that I actually have a skate with big wheels, which are actually kind of good for long distance blading. Um, and um, yeah, so I, uh, I just thought maybe why not give it a second try and uh, think about what were the issues with this skate. Um, so I got myself the USD carbon cuff. I must say it's not the best solution for this one. As you can see, it does have these little latches at the end here, these little tabs. Um, that stick out and um, I must say on the other skate that I have it actually broke off already on the other side so it's not even the best solution but um, it is a big improvement oh yeah and I got rid of the front buckle over here it usually has a, uh, a strap that goes around your ankle that is meant to, to keep your heel in place, but if you tie your skates strong enough, that, that just, that does the job just as well. So, um, what have I changed about this skate in order to, to make it suitable for me? What I've, I've seen a lot lately is people having the, the actual tongue of the liner very much at the front and uh, so, which, which is sad because it actually provides you with extra uh, support within your skate, right? I mean, this is something that actually embraces your whole, is meant to embrace your whole leg. So, um, I found these little latches for, yeah, loopholes, if you will. Uh, for, uh, for actually laces. So I laced the liners and it has improved the things a lot by a big margin. Um, to be honest, uh, since I've done that, and I uh, actually, actually I have pretty long straps, so I, I wrap them around the whole skate, the entire skate, and that gives 
even more support that combines a little bit the cuff and the liner uh, so your liners won't slip as much that is just a perfect setup I've been riding this setup now for a month and I'm starting to see some of the other issues that might come with a setup of the uh, Aeon skates in the 72mm range and that is the wheels. The wheels come standard uh, with 88, uh, 88A uh, hardness. Uh, that, that is a decent hardness I would say for, for a street but uh, of course they will wear down pretty quickly um, as they are not, not that hard. They're pretty soft to be honest uh, for a street skate. Um, second of all there is a uh, plastic core to these wheels. There's a plastic um, plastic rims inside and I, I've uh, started to notice lately that they keep breaking and actually uh, block the wheels at times uh, so the pieces that broke out of the of the actual frame within the, the, the wheel blocked the entire wheel and that was pretty scary at times when approaching handrail and stuff like that so you definitely want to avoid usually having something like that in your way um, so when you get yourself a pair of these make sure you get yourself as well new wheels that might not have this in this particular issue uh, easy to avoid with for example uh, at the moment we have uh, 72 millimeter ground control wheels that, that, that do not have such rims they're actually full rubber or full urethane whatever um, yeah and that will uh, give you a lot a lot more support in this case um, yeah, I am actually about to find out what other cuffs do fit. Um, I've done some research and found out that people have actually drilled different holes. So um, I might give this one a shot, I don't know. Um, they drilled holes in a lower position in order to fit higher cuffs, such as the shadow cuffs. Um, they're meant to give a lot of support and they're actually pretty flexy so that's a very good decision to put them on there. Um, anyhow, I've seen already people using regular Seba cuffs. The Seba cuffs actually work just as well and do not have this issue here in the back. Unfortunately the USD Carbon versions of the cuffs have this rather small portion which yeah, basically reveals this, this little tap at the end and I'm, I'm pretty sure that this could avoid such such things so yeah that is definitely something to consider and I will buy another shell and try all this out and um, I've also seen that potentially the USD 7 cuffs could work so I will order a pair of these as well and tell you guys my experience once I tested it out I would say um, yeah that's already about it it's a very decent skate I do not have a lot of problems with the um, with the flat setup even though I wasn't used at all to riding flat this is my first flat setup so um, I am quite comfortable with these at the moment even to that extent that I'm jumping to handrails and stuff so that's yeah, definitely something. So yes, very good skate. In case you do have any other questions, remarks, or maybe you have other different opinions, uh, let me know in the comments and maybe we can discuss. All right, I would say that's it for this one. Have a good day, have a good night whatever time it is from where you're watching and um, until next time.